Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. 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 First, give honor to God. I'm just here to welcome our visitors if we have any. If not, let's just get into the program and worship and praise him and give him the honor and glory that he so deserves on this day. Amen. Amen. Amen.
ask you to bless the bash family. We ask you to bless the cold and the break family. We ask you to bless everybody in here assembled at my weekend of the boss. We bless Mrs. Swain's family. We bless America because America is in a tight, in a worse condition. Amen up in here? Amen up in here? Lord, we love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. Now, Lord, now, Lord, we ask that you heal Pastor Laverne's vocals. That he may speak clarity. That he may speak bold. Then we can hear him loud. We claim it right now. Now, Lord, there's some among us that cancel. There's some among us that blood pressure. There's some among us misunderstanding. That some among us need you, Lord. We all need you. Yes, Lord. We all need you. We can't do without you. Yes, yes. Oh, Lord. I was strength. I was redeemed. Yes. Let the demon Lord say so. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray for his sake. Amen.
in the 
each life. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The past has come and gone. Uh -huh. Tomorrow doesn't exist. Uh -huh. So today is all we have in which to live, to love, to labor, to laugh, and to learn. Mm -hmm. Yesterday is history. Uh -huh. Tomorrow is a mystery. Mm -hmm. But today is reality. Mm -hmm. Yesterday is instructive. Tomorrow is unknown. Yeah, yeah. But today <coughs> is the proven ground. All right. As we live our lives and watch them unfold, let us be renewed and refreshed to serve God each and every day. Yeah. Yeah. So these three simple suggestions for doing that will help you orient your time on a daily basis. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. First, let's look back to yesterday and learn. Paul urges us to look back and learn. See, sometimes as Christians, we need to stop and look and remember the lessons that we've learned from yesterday. Amen. I'm not the same today as I was yesterday. I'm not all that I want to be today. But thank God I'm not what I used to be. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. And it's only because God's saving grace. Amen. I'm not the only one that was a sinner. Oh, no. But I'm saved by his grace. Amen. I once was lost, yeah, yeah, yeah. but now I'm found. Yeah. I once was blind, yeah. but now I see. Help me out, somebody. We should have learned from the good and the bad examples of people and decisions that we've made in the past. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I like to watch America's uh, funniest home videos <laughs> to break the edge. You gotta have, gotta get laughter in your life. Yeah. And it's funny to see how many people make mistakes sliding down the hill. Uh -huh. How many of them climb on a ladder and it's shaking? How many of them fall through a trampoline when they're too heavy? Uh -huh. Or how they try to wash a dog or a cat? and get washed themselves. Amen. Now I want you to remember Israel for just a moment. Right. But more importantly, we should have learned from our own failures. Yeah. Well, I used to say that didn't work. Mm -hmm. So we'll try something else. We should have learned from our own success. Well, That did the trick. I'll try that again. But the question is, what lessons should we learn by looking at Israel's past? They crave evil things. But let us desire the things of God. They were idolaters. But for us, God and God alone. Amen. 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 Help me out somebody. Amen. They engage in pagan revelry. Let us engage in the holy joy. Right. See, they engage in the lively, the noisy festivities. Mm -hmm. Drinking, getting drunk, mm -hmm. doing some unscrupulous things. 
They were sexually immoral, but let us flee immorality. They tested God over and over, but we must not put God through the test. They grumbled and they griped. Moses, you blockhead. You shouldn't have brought us out here to die. What are we going to do? What are we going to drink? What are we going to eat? And years from now, archaeologists will find our porch bones buried in the sand. We want to go back to Egypt. At least we'd have graves that we'd be buried in. Let us not be like that. Let me ask somebody. While it's important to remember the lessons of the past, yeah. it's not good to dwell Come on, on the past. Amen. Look to the past, but don't chime to it. Mm -hmm. Don't wallow in it. Yeah. But remember that there is a better day yeah. on the horizon. Hallelujah. As my good friend used to say, do not call to mind the former things huh? or ponder the things of the past. What? But I will do something new. Now it will spring forth. Yeah. Will you not be aware of it? That there is better things of coming. I will even make a roadway in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. Yeah. Yeah. The word ponder which means keep following up, doing the same thing and getting the same results, yeah. but never changing your lifestyle. Yeah. It means that it's time for you to look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah. I used to have friends, but they only loved me as long as the money didn't run out. Run yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have em em employees. I used to have uh, bosses that always was telling the do's and don'ts. Uh, but I remember yesterday. But now it's time for today. Yeah. But instead, you ought to be challenged to learn from your mistakes. Uh, forgive and move on from your past yeah. with the promise that God is about to do something in your life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless we learn from the past We'll go on fighting the same old battles, yeah, yeah. suffering the same old pain. Amen. But let us illuminate or illustrate. You know, there was a man who had a jar full of grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they was using for fishing. Yes. The lid was on, but the grasshoppers kept jumping up and hitting their heads on the top, trying to jump out. But finally, they learned that if they would not jump so high, yeah. they wouldn't bash their heads. And after a few hours, the man could open up the jaw, and none of the grasshoppers would jump high enough to escape. Yeah. Now, we could say that they locked their own prisons, but I prefer to say that they learned from their past. Yeah. Stop hitting your head up against the wall and knocking your own self out. Yeah. Don't smack your head on the lid. Look back, but don't stay back. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. And that second point is, look around today and see. In order to live meaningfully, fully and freely, we need to see what's happening around us and to us. Yeah. Yeah. You see the snares of life, but we are all tempted. Mm -hmm. We're tested, we're tried daily, mm -hmm. hourly, constantly according to our own set of desires. Yeah, yeah. But Paul wrote, the temptation in your life are no different from what others experience. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. And God is faithful. He would not allow temptation to be more than you can handle without showing you a way to escape. He will show you a way out of all situations. He'll show you that you can endure all things. You see that God is a gracious and faithful God. 
they are evidence of that all around us. Look for them today. See the task and the service that we can do and remember that we can't do them yesterday yeah. and tomorrow is beyond our grasp. Yeah. So we need to do them today. Yeah. Help me out somebody. Yeah. I found this quote that said, be prerogative with affirming God's word and living it. Being careful that you deal correctly with your past and with any unforgiveness you might have. Assume responsibility for the choices and the decisions that you made, whether right or wrong, and quit holding on those old feelings hostage. Something that happened 40 years ago yeah. is causing the church to be empty today. Yeah. Somebody's grandfather or grandmother or brother or somebody did something to you. And because they couldn't stand the people in the church house, you still have an attitude. Yeah. Not with the people anymore. But you have it with the church yeah, yeah. saying that them so called so called sinners or so called saints uh, they was unruly and they was horrible to my grandmother yeah, yeah. and they call themselves Christians yeah. and now today I'm living a life of hell because I'm holding on yeah. to those old addicts yeah. yeah. of my grandfather yeah. and my grandmother. Help me out, sir. Thank you, you God are. has a great plan yes. for us, a great future for you. Yes. He knows what he's doing. Yes. All we have to do is trust him. Right. So while it is today, let's make the best use of our time. Yes. Let's make the best use of our talent. Yes. Let's make the best use of our treasure. Let's seize the daily opportunities yeah. to do all the good things that we can yeah. to all the people we can yeah. in every way that we can yeah. so long as we can. Yeah. Let's seek to know what pleases Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you can discover that in this New Testament, find his will and obey it immediately, yeah. unconditionally and willfully. Yeah. Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 1 through 33, mm -hmm. he said, so whether you eat or drink yeah. mm -hmm. or whatever you do, mm -hmm. do it all for the glory of God. Yeah. Don't yeah. give offense to the Jews. Yeah. Don't give offense to the Gentiles. Yeah. Don't give offense to the church of God. Yeah. I too try to please everyone in everything that I do. Yeah. I don't just do what is best for me. Yeah. I do what is best for others so that many may be saved. Yeah. Help me out somebody. Yeah. Yeah. We cannot see tomorrow, but what we do today can make an impact on your life. It doesn't matter what happens. You appoint your days in God to bring what is good in your life. You consecrate them for the purpose of God. And then you use your days to accomplish those purposes. Don't let your days determine your life. Let your life determine your days. And don't just let your days go by, but prepare them that they might become vessels of blessings and life. Yeah. Appoint your days for the purpose of the Most High. Yeah. Live for him today, and he will take care of you tomorrow. Yeah. Help me out, somebody. Yeah. Our third and final point. Look forward to tomorrow and hope. God is faithful. Yeah. We can trust him and we can depend on him. Yeah. We don't have to worry about the future because God is here today. 
We cannot see into the future beyond what God has revealed to us in this Bible. Yes. But the picture that he paints is one of hope to all who have faith in Jesus Christ. Yes. Jeremiah said, for I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Yes. Plans of goodness yes. and prosperity, yes. a future with a hope. Yes. Hello, somebody. Yes. Help me out, somebody. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. who according to his great and mercy has caused us to be born again yes. in a living hope, yes. the resurrection of Jesus Christ yes. from the dead. Yes. Peter, 1 Peter 1 and 13, he said, Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Keep sober in spirit. Yeah. Fix your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because God wanted to make up the unchanging nature of his purpose very clear to the heirs of who and what was promised. He confirmed it with an oath. God did it this so that we can know by two unchangeable things, which is impossible for God to lie. We who have fled to take hold of the hope offered to us may be greatly encouraged. We have this hope as an anchor for our souls, firm and sure. It enters in the inner sanctuary behind the curtain Amen. where Jesus Christ, who went before us, has entered on our behalf. Amen. Help me out, somebody. Amen. He has become the high priest Amen. forever in the order of Melchizedek. Amen. Somebody said one day, where there's no hope for the future. There's no power in the present. But I remind you, church, hope is not wishful thinking. Hope is not a declaration of what we want to happen. Hope is not an unfounded anticipation. Hope is an assured confidence. Certainty exceptionally, expectantly, based not on what we want, but what on God has promised us. Hope sustains us when we are in need. Hope unfolds us when we are knocked down. Hope strengthens us when we are at our weakest. Hope lifts us up when we are at our lowest, hope, uh, hope, church, uh, comfort us uh, when we are crushed. Uh, hope comes uh, in a person uh, of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, uh, in Christ uh, is in us, uh, that is uh, the hope of glory. I remember reading this little poem. Two frogs was in a pitcher of cream. They could not climb to the top of the walls because it was too high and slippery. They knew they were going to down and die because it was impossible to swim, to float, or to even crawl up the wall. And for a while, the two frogs, they kicked and they kicked in this cream. But it was useless to only manage to sink down deeper. Then one frog said, I'm tired now. I'm about to give up. It ain't no use. I'm going to die anyway. And that's exactly what happened to this first frog. But the other frog 
said, no matter how impossible it might look, I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep swimming. I'm going to keep crawling. And the more he crawled, and the more he wiggled, the more he fought, the thicker the cream got. And before he know it, the cream had become butter. And he found himself at the tip of the joy. Help me out, somebody. There's joy. There's joy in a living Christ. There's joy. There's joy where there's fight in you, church. Anytime you get tired, just look at the Lord. Lean and depend on Him. In the all right, in the all right. I know I'm not looking back. I know yesterday's gone. But I know today I'm going to do all that I can to serve him, to lean on him, to trust him, to know that all things work for the good of them that love Jesus Christ and to them that are called according to his purpose. Yesterday is gone, but learn from yesterday. Look around today and live. Look forward for tomorrow and hope. Help me out, somebody. We can have hope because our God is an awesome God. We can have hope because God is the ultimate God of grace, the ultimate God of Trust in the Lord forever, for in Him we find forgiveness for the past, power for living today, bright hope for tomorrow. If Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you should be experiencing strength and not failure. Bravery and not fear. What do you do? What do you do, church, when it seemed like I just can't make it? I look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help. My help. My help comes from the Lord. He made me. He made me. He made me. to climb out the valleys. My God, my God is good. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad, I'm so glad I serve a God of another chance. I serve a God of another chance. It'll be all right, it'll be all right, church. I'm not worried about yesterday.
and he gave that to Satan. Yes. Satan is a liar. Yes. And the true thing in it. Yes. Even the ones I started yes. preaching, I preached the hell out of him. Stand, face the wall, start from the back. Page. 